Hello, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing good. We're, we're partying like it's 2015 rev style, which means receiver two, close enough, and uh, my summer car. We're gonna start a new run of that. If you haven't seen uh, my summer car before, that'll be a treat. It's um, it's gotten a few updates. You got your gamer fuel? Uh, no, I have a soda. This is a good game. I played it for like an hour today trying to get back to where we were. Ended up uh, losing and uh, deprogressing. Um, Mad Matter, thank you for the 13 months of support. <coughs> Fuck, I'm dying. Anyway, um, this game has guns in it. The realistic guns. Also, uh, you can shoot yourself. Also, it turns out um, that the evil mind-killing drones, because it's like the Matrix, uh, try, try and get you uh, murdered. And they'll do anything they can. So, quick quick warning about content. Uh, they try and trick you into shooting yourself and making you all depressed. And they play tapes where you're all depressed and you're basically giving a suicide note. So, if that's a thing uh, that you don't want to listen to, uh, I understand. It seems like it's usually by the fifth tape. So, I got to pick up five tapes. Um, I picked up zero out of five right now. I've listened to a few of them, and they're all kind of the same vein of, like, this is basically a suicide note sort of thing. This is, um, the worst gun, in my opinion. But we'll make it work. <coughs> ah. I hear it. So you can hear the tapes. You hear that sound? Not that. That. Yeah, I decided to go a little bit uh, easier on myself as far as, like, complexity of the games go today. Just because, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna need the extra energy for tomorrow because tomorrow is, um, is town of nowhere. So I figured, you know what, let's just do something easy. Where is this tape? I hear it. Um, I finished up the last little bits of the Town of Nowhere stuff today. I think we're good. Gotta hope we are. Obviously, a lot of it is dependent on me predicting what you guys are gonna do. So, I am... I'm looking forward to it. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping decay function. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around okay. you. Okay, got it. And then you this one over here? You are different. Okay, no. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken... These sound like cult tapes. They basically are. Awakening but it turns out they're real, so... Is it a cult or just... The media is... Reality, if it's true. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Yeah, I was thinking about, like, I very much want to do an arcade on this game. I, I see the blue light. So the way this works is that I need to get those tapes, listen to them, absorb the information. Once I've done that five times, I can progress to the next stage. There are five stages. I assume it goes up in difficulty on how many tapes you need and definitely on, like, how difficult the enemies are. How many bullets do I have? Uh, 14, 15? Okay, that's fine. Plus the one in the chamber, so 16. Oop. Shit. Ooh. That was almost bad. Oop. Okay, so that was almost a problem. Ah, fuck. I knocked it so that way the bullet went up to me.
All right. Well, I got the revolver. I don't mind this one too much. Uh, the 1911 is probably my favorite. One-shot kills? Pretty much. It depends on where you get hit, uh, I think, and how much damage you've taken prior. I've also learned to not cock the trigger until I'm actually ready to shoot at something. It's like actual gun safety not tips. Like, don't have your gun ready to shoot something when you're not ready to shoot something. I don't know if that's real gun advice, but it seems legit. Trigger discipline. I mean, can I fire like this? Apparently I can, just like the first game. You don't even have to be aiming in order to shoot the gun. Interesting. Before entering any room, I like to stop for a second and just let a beat pass. And the reason for that is that if there is a robot and I don't see the light swinging, I might miss it if I don't stop. I hear it. All right, it's upstairs. Can I get upstairs? Up here and whoop. all right, somewhere around here. They, if you're wondering whether or not this game is any good in comparison to the first one, I'd say it's better. I'd say it kind of invalidates the first one existing. The first one was the best they could do in a seven day game jam with no sleep. This is what happens if you give them a few years to do the exact same concept, but better after some play testing. It's just better. It's just good. I hear it. Oh, it's downstairs, isn't it? I don't see it. It's got to be downstairs, though. The uh, gun control is really in-depth. On the barrel, you saw it? Okay, hold up. Oop. <laughs> Almost threw myself over the railing. Oh, there it is. Thank you. This building... doesn't make much sense. Like, wh while I know this isn't the same room as before... I'm not sure if this is a suicide tape or not, familiar. so I'm just gonna unload the gun real quick. It's more like a fictional place than uh, the real world. My summer car it's, is after this. Oh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. Okay, we're fine. I wasn't sure if he was being suicidal there or not. I wasn't really sure where he was going. Oh, fuck. Whoa. All right. One thing I like about this game is if you are in a situation like that where it's just like it's hopeless to try and get in, you can kind of like mirror's edge this shit. Oh. All right, that was him. While Colt won most of the U.S. military conflict, the Smith and Wesson Model 10 remained the weapon of choice for U.S. police forces until the 70s, when they switched to high-capacity Wonder 9 pistols. Ah! The Model 10 did win a few U.S. military. You gotta have a little bit of that in your game. It's got a weird Coast like and Navy. cult of gun. Two air crews used the Model 10 revolver both for self-defense and for an uh, emergency matrix thing missiles. going on. In the 20s. Police were facing significant resistance. So, like, half the tapes are, like, about, like, Zen mastery sort of, like, enough. monastic 
life started rechambering their and cult stuff, the and then the other half is like cartridge. random the information about guns. Not quite right. And uh, fired cartridges had a tendency to get stuck from the increased pressure and slow down reloading. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Just go ahead and yeet myself out the window a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well, let's check. Nothing in the chamber, so just go ahead and slam that guy down. Alright, one in the chamber now. Is this a roguelike? Um, there's five stages. Every time you get all five of the tapes, you move up to the next stage. Every time you die, you go down a step. Until you win, I assume. I've only gotten up to stage three, so... It's, uh, it's- Oh, fucking God! <sighs> Alright. So there's one in the chamber. Hold down the button. And then hold down the button. Katana Squirrel, thank you for the 35 months of support. How's it going, dude? Alright. See, I'm afraid of this gun, because there's no safety on this gun. So if you want a fully loaded magazine, well, go fuck yourself. I'm gonna play pool. It also jams more than any other gun. Get in there, you sack of shit. Can he even get in? Alright, alright. You are the safety? I would like a real safety, though. Just in case that the threat tries to teach me something on the TV. Just gonna... Can these even... Go in the... Can you just go in the fucking hole? There we go. Alright, so it's possible. Read the pause thing on how to put the gun safely away. I like the just sort of Russian roulette thing. Uh, that I got going on with myself. Like, it's magazine-fed Russian roulette, so it's, it's kind of dumbass Russian roulette. But, like, you know. Still. Oh, there it is. When performing at a peak condition, like listen to this bit, this Zen is bullshit state. Ideas have a form and a weight. When you become dedicated to an idea, it takes on a new dimension. It becomes denser, tougher to move, intractable. This tenacious stubbornness is Oop. required to become a. Got it. So you can... There's location-based damage in this game. For both you and the AI bots. Um, they, um... I explained this last stream, but depending on where you shoot them depends on what part you disable. My personal favorite spot to destroy is the camera. You'll notice it doesn't have a blue light anymore. Uh, the blue light is how you can tell you destroyed the camera. There's also the ammo hopper. You can shoot that in order to make it not shoot. Though there's no way to know whether or not it's not shooting anymore. You can also shoot this bit down at the bottom, the motor, and that'll cause it to stop spinning. My problem with that is sometimes you stop it spinning when it's pointed directly at you when you're trying to go through a doorway, and it causes problems. Personal preference thing. They added hacking in, so that makes, you know... I have no idea what I'm going to name uh, the, the uh, main character. Okay, 
making sure I'm pressing one and not. There's also the battery. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the light gives you really good feedback on whether or not you actually killed the thing or not. Um, why are there tapes that make you have a loaded gun? Or wait, what does that say? Um, kill your um. Be, okay, so this is everything according to the Lord of the Game. Everything in this game is the real reality like you watching me is one step away from the real reality it being a video game is another step away from the real reality and then understanding this as robots attacking you is another step away from the real reality so you're like three levels in i'm like two levels in understanding in true reality regret understand that there was no other way that events could have played out all you can do is from the experience and move on. Kali theory, sure. Um, and these things that want to destroy humans have opted to do so by using a thing called mind kill. And the only way to get around mind kill is to train using this monastic thing. This gun cult, basically, uh, in order to weed out the people who are, or be a person who can deal with it, deal with the threat. And from there, we can deal with it. Now, the threat comes in many different forms. Robots of many shapes and varieties. We've only seen one so far. Um, but also, in the new game, this one, uh, they can also just straight up infect the tapes. So, those tapes are being placed by people who are in the true reality, letting us know what's actually going on. Trying to get yourself into the mindset of being truly awakened. It's very, like, culty. Um... And, um, until you're awakened, you kind of have to go through all this shit. And deal with it. That's the mind tech. It's this this training rigmarole that allows you to understand it. It's a little bit matrixy. God damn it. Walls too thick. Thick boy. Fuck. Is this game fun to play? Yes, it's a little frustrating at first until you get it. It does have fire select. I don't know how it works. Kill drones don't feel pain. Don't feel fear. They will keep trying to kill you until you make it physically impossible for them to function. The surest way to disable them completely is to destroy their batteries found in the thickest part of the base Thick. turrets or the rear body of flying drones. I think these bullets did actually go through the wall. They did, but I just missed. Ah, oh, it was a little bit off. You see that? It's almost perfect. I was a little bit too high up. You can see where the bullets went through the wall. Just a little bit too high up. Need to aim down a little bit. So a little bit below the painting. That's why I was shooting the wall randomly there, was because then I didn't have to go around the corner and actually deal with getting shot. 
I just had to try and figure out where it was relative to where I am. Bullet physics. A couple might have hit, but it wasn't enough to do any actual damage. Your favorite gun is uh, the revolver because you can't unload it and avoid shooting yourself in the dick. Um, I like the, um, the 1911, I think, the most. And I just fucked up the screen region. Hold up. I clicked out of the window to try and, like, read what people were saying and then did everything wrong. Um, is that better? You guys okay? That looks fine. So, yeah, I'm basically trying to ascend spiritually by killing the threat with my gun. Hi. So, Rev, how many times have you shot yourself in this stream so far? Um, twice now, now that you ask. Twice. I think, um, the stub nose is probably my second least favorite. Um, good, good power, bad, bad aim. How do you keep not holding the button? Um, I'm just dumb, basically. Um, and it's a chronic problem. It's, I don't like the Glock. Um, it seems like a very easy way of, like, hurting yourself. I found that if you've got some, like, up and down. Have I found any guns with the X'd out things? A couple. Um, so those are just, like... So let's say, like, one of these bullets had an X on it. You couldn't load another bullet in it. You just couldn't. That's how it works. Uh, same thing with the magazine fed ones, though they just don't allow you to load bullets into those spots. Those give you about one bullet per, which means that unless if you can walk into them, it's not worth, or if you can shoot multiple ones. I like the revolver because no matter how much I fuck it up, I can't shoot myself. As long as I make sure that I don't, like, have the gun cocked in the process, I'm usually fine. Ladders are slightly better than source ladders for anyone. Didn't see that guy and almost fucked that up. If I hadn't have been able to get to that bush... I'm on the first level because I ended up this killing myself. Better than source ladders is not a high bar. It's Making close. Focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Okay. Just notice that without judgment. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, need a longer barrel for that. This gun is just not good at range shots. I missed a whole bunch of shots there because of that. Thank you, Zen Man, for teaching me to calm down. I do like the lore behind why you're just a, a little target. You can also shoot the 
barrel of the drones to force it to shoot at a right angle. And that's funny. You can also shoot the legs off. They added that as a thing. I accidentally did that. Um, missed a shot. Like, it went low because of one of these guns. And, uh... Oh, he's still trying down there. You're aiming a little too high. Oh. Oh, there's a door here. I forgot about that. See, he's still trying. Listen to him. Yeah, I shot off his leg here. Poor guy. Just decommission you proper. There you go. Now you're fucked. Stopping before entering rooms. It's the only way to safely enter rooms, in my opinion. There's one down there. There might be one there. Why ever use doors when you could just yeet out windows? I mean, you know, for, for the sole reason that I've managed to kill myself once. This stream, yeeting out a window. Cooper's fourth rule of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond it. Bullets can penetrate a lot farther than most people think. Um, how many interior sheetrock walls do you think a typical 9mm bullet will go through? Three? One? Uh, two. More like... In a typical gunfight, more shots miss than hit, but all bullets end up somewhere. Unless Five, you live apparently. alone in a rural area, there is no pistol or rifle that won't put your family and neighbors at risk. Even hollow point rounds often miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's That's good knowledge. See, there are some balloons lined up and there's one below me. Hold G, you can see how many Oh. Something sparked there. I don't know what. Well, hopefully it's something that makes it aim. Because, uh... We're fresh out. Just a little bit too high for it here, I think. If I go down a floor, I can probably shoot all of those and get one shot. Like the set piecing, like look at this. I know it's just like a skybox, but holy fuck, it's great. I don't think there's any way to get from there to there. The blue glow is so good. It just, it looks so good. Like, they did a great job with this game. Yeah, I tried to tell you. I tried to, to get support. Nope. This I is a suicide risk right here. They said I should. And it didn't work. It didn't work. This, this is all your fault. All of you. I hope you all finally understand what you did to me and hate yourselves for it. See you in hell. There's nothing you can do to stop it from trying to shoot you. So I just drop everything. Alright, we've calmed down. We can load the gun again. It goes, it shoots all of the bullets. Like, you can't just, like, play Russian Roulette with it. Like, you actually have to unload your gun entirely. So this is only going to be worth it if I can, in one shot, shoot all of those. Can I do that from here? Not, not easily. Maybe? Maybe? 
I don't think I can get up high enough to make that count. I just saw a blue light down there. Yeah, I definitely see a blue light coming in. I'm not going to worry about it. I could go back and get two more bullets. It's below me, but I don't think it can actually get to me. I mean, give more than one bullet. It seems like it likes to just give one bullet, though. It's not worth... This gun's not accurate enough, and I'm not going to hit it, and I probably will never actually get there. This glass is broken. Anything I can do with that information? Not really. Okay. Weird. We had a little bit of ba da da, ba da da. Oh, hello. You got a little song for me? You need to do a little ditty for me? Where you at? Hello. I never beat the first game. I couldn't. I'm not good enough. Like, I feel like I'm fairly good at this game. I'm still not good enough. Oh, oh. What can you see? Okay, we're actually good. Just tap G, keep it in the whole area. You're good. <sighs> I've shot myself twice this stream. In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attach itself to whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This leads to confusion, impaired decision-making, and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the present, it's, one can You can kind of tell, and you've got a bit of time before it goes, where are you? like, where what you kill yourself. Where are you? it? Who are you? What are you doing at this exact moment? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you really hear? He's just being zen about things. It's fine. I really like the revolvers now that I understand that I can't shoot myself accidentally. My success rate is much higher with the revolvers than it is other things. Oh, I hear one. Is there more ammo down there? There is. I almost just... Why am I wrecking CRTs? Because... This. Just none of that. I hear it. It's somewhere over here, I think. There it is. It's common knowledge that you All get right. better results the harder you try. But... Like most common knowledge, this is wrong. Receivers know that there is an optimal level of effort. Too low and you might slack off. Too high and you can start to choke under pressure. In the middle, you get the best results. Cool. Went up. I unloaded the gun just in case if it was a problem. Please, please do not make it the Glock. I hate the Glock. Revolver. Alright. Which one? Uh, sub nose again, it looks like. Yeah, alright. The bullets don't carry over. I am like 5% certain of that fact. Um, so I was just like, I'm just gonna drop the ammo just in case. Um... 
I'm not sure about that. I'm sort of sure of that. Also, again, every media source is being controlled by the threat. One way or another. The robots. Um, so, I like to turn off TVs when I see them. Because I don't trust them. Why is this level so dark? I have not beaten this stage yet. Do the levels just repeat? I think the the tile sets do, yes. I think the first level that you ever play, like the tutorial mission, is very straight up. Yeah. No, this game does make you say some weird stuff. Frames are a bit crunchy. Oh, yeah. It does say that we're overloading a bit. What game is this? This is Receiver 2. It came out yesterday. Okay. Should be better now. Nope. Nope. We're back to uh, crunchy time. Something is causing it to have the crunchies. The flashlight is causing frames. Because you see, like, I'll watch it for a second, and then it'll, like, turn into, like, weird bullshit real fast. You hear that ringing? Subtle. Subtle. Media is not to be trusted. Random seal statue. Someone was saying T-pose earlier. Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great chunks. potential. Chunks. But the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? There is an insidious force... Holy shit, who just gave me subs? Malicious, thank you for the five subs. Gift subs. Enjoy it, everyone. Weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. Are we good? We have developed a technique called mind tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you. Okay. It's like, mm, nah. uh, wouldn't be surprised if watching threat media and this increased the risk of suicide tapes being found. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that, but I definitely do try and not have the TVs on. I don't trust them. Like, yeah, I know I sound like a crazy person, but like the, the tapes, So the reason that hillbillies carry shotguns is because they're actually uh, responsible gun owners. I think it's also because that's a more practical gun for, uh, like, living out in the country. Like, I don't know that. I was going to take the elevator, but there's a lot of guns down there. And my gun is not good enough at uh, long-range shots to clear the room before I go down there. I'm trying not to use the flashlight too much because it seems to... Well, A, it pisses off the robots, and B, it seems to cause the frames to die. So, I'm just... Walking around in a little bit of darkness just for the sake that... Oh, shit! Drone. First one I've seen this entire playthrough. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. <sighs> mm. 
They have little tasers on them. They try and crash into you and hit you with the taser. They can still tase you while they're down. Drones are the real scary shit. Alright, there's one. Where is he? There you are. Okay, much lower. Got him. Crunchy. Not not good shooting text, but There's one down there. Let's just say uh Who's giving out more subs? Anon, what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you for the five subs. Uh I'm gonna check and make sure I'm gonna try and get the uh chat open. Give me one second so that way I can see the chat a little bit easier. Maliciousness gave the first bomb. Anonymous gave the second one. I want to read up on drones. Did they change how they work? Um, drones. Help? Drone. Okay. Shock drones, uh, once they spot a target, they will chase relentlessly until they catch up with the victim and de deliver an incapacitating shock. This normally would be a less lethal attack, but with the threat's control of probability, any taser blast would ri likely result in cardiac arrest. Drones can be tenacious and are able to back up to replan the route. They will go over fences and even smash through windows. Jesus. They will remember the last place they saw the target and sometimes wait there in ambush. Flying drones are designated to be as light as possible, which makes them relatively fragile. If you damage a drone, especially by breaking its rotor shields, it will be more vulnerable to collisions with walls. If you run from a drone, make sure that you only run through areas that you have already cleared so you don't run directly into turret fire. Uh, someone in chat was saying that they were able to prior. Okay, there are shielded turrets and then there's not. A sleeping turret that just hangs out. Oh, that's scary. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, will I read all of the uh, things? There's a lot of it and I feel like um, I feel like it would probably end up um, just I don't know. Mangling it. I can't take this meaningless existence anymore. There's... Jen had been told her whole life that science proved that everything is random and humans are insignificant accidents, uh, tiny motes of consciousness. And you get one of these every time you actually survive a suicide a attempt. Vacuum. After she was rejected by her first choice school and her backup, the threat tried to kill her with a razor blade. While the scars healed, she learned the hidden truth. While science allows us to manipulate our world of shadows in reality B, it tells us nothing about our core existence in reality A. Just as atoms combine to form molecules, and, and molecules combine to form cells, and neurons combine to form your mind, our minds combine to form humanity, and humanity combines to form the highest concentration of information in the known universe. In reality A, we are all part of the same radiant tapestry. That is where our true meaning lies. Now, Jen eventually found her calling as a psychologist, specializing in the study and treatment of existential depression. Yeah, it's like reality A. Reality B is the one that we live in. Reality A is morphogenic fields. The narrator's voice used to sound a lot more monotone. And uh, someone who knew the guy who did it in the first game uh, said that they don't normally sound like that. I would hazard a guess that that might even be the same narrator. Um, it was part of a seven day game jam originally, as I've said before. And so obviously, um, they probably weren't sleeping all that well, and they probably weren't using their best mics for it. 
So, you know, one take, that's good enough. We need to make sure this is good enough for the... Oh, fuck! Jesus, fuck, I didn't even see that one. Now you're awake, you asshole. Where are you at? On the balcony? That didn't work. All right, well, time to wander around in the darkness for a bit. Nope. I'm dead. Cool. Is it the Glock? Ah! Uh, in the first game, if I got a bad gun, I'd just jump off a roof somewhere. But, um... In this game, I actually have to, like, go with it, else I derank again. So, here we go! Time to use the Glock. It likes to jam. It's full out of bullshit. Let's go! Okay. Hold L to restart. Is... You're right at the bottom? No, I'm at the second from the bottom. We can't derank from this rank. Well, what rank am I on? Initiate? One out of five. You're right. Restart. Do, 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 do. This gun sucks. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, who just dropped that bomb? Anon, calm down with that. I mean, you don't have to, but thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right. So, um, this gun just has no range whatsoever. Do I prefer hot subs or cold subs? Um. I think I like hot subs. Jimmy John's or Subway? Jimmy John's is better in Subway, but, um, you know, licking the bathroom floor is better in Subway at most times. Um, I used to like Subway. It's not very good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's, it's edible. Toasted bun. Witch witch is good. I like a witch witch. Um, witch witch has some good, good, like, sandwiches. Those are great. Firehouse subs. I haven't had a good firehouse sub in a while. Fuck, now I want to have, like, firehouse subs and shit. Can't go out. Wait, I was like, just kind of jamming out to the music, being like, what the hell with that? I mean, saying Subway is edible is a pretty, pretty big stretch. I mean, she's just going for it. Where the fuck is she, though? Oh, there it is. You have seen the signs around you. Right? The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong oh, hey, with another the one. media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. 
You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing this insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. I'm doing great this run. You must listen to them to advance. With the rise of powerful concealed weapons like the detective special, along came laws to restrict them. In the 1930s, the NRA See what I mean? Like just suddenly carry restrictions. Zen stuff to like every gun state. history. Um, starting in the 70s, they changed their mind and started aggressively campaigning to repeal those same laws. Until now, concealed carry is permitted in most parts of the USA. They still vary widely from state to state, so if you want to concealed carry, it's a good idea to learn the laws where you live. They're probably different than you expect. It's also important to learn the laws about when it's legal to use concealed weapons in self-defense. Now, they say it's better to be tried by 12 than carried by 6, but that can be cold comfort when you're doing hard time for murder or manslaughter. Before choosing to concealed carry, you need to, at the very least, I was given that, Anon. What is going on with you today? Innocence, Being nice to me. Avoidance. That's not what Anons are supposed to do. Anons are supposed to send me hate mail. Only and tell me that that like like my beard looks funny innocent. or something. There was a reasonable threat of injury or death. My head, forehead's too big. You could to avoid not threat. give me money. And You're doing it wrong. The Thank you. Possible amount of force in proportion to the threat. Control your breathing as you approach the door, slowly slicing the pie as you go. What? You are in the fatal funnel now as you move in a semicircle past the door, but don't rush. See everything. Focus beyond that front sight. Let your body oh. in for you. Breathe. Thank you for the 69 bits, Glass. It's clear. It's time to choose a direction and commit. Oh, pie Glass is a SWAT right. thing. I thought we were just talking about which pie for some reason. Victory, which way? Death. Only one way to find out. Breathe. Don't dawdle in the doorway. You're a silhouette, and that's where the guns are aimed. And sweep the room smoothly to encompass the whole space. It's a difficult thing, but practice makes perfect. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. Shorter guns are harder to aim for many reasons, well, including decreased parallax between the front and rear sights, decreased rotational inertia, Decreased muzzle I don't know if this is the fifth tape or not. Recoil. I'm a little scared to go around the it's corner. It's possible to take a long shot with a snub-nosed revolver, but very difficult. Okay, so that was four. I didn't want to go through the door just in case. See, it's just you can tell that it's dead. Now, I know other people like to shoot other parts of it. I'm not about that. Okay, that guy just... Okay, I thought I dismantled him immediately. Um, wait a minute. Hey, can you, um... Can you be dead? There it is. If you shoot the orange brick, it just starts clicking like a shitty Portal 2 turret. Someone wasn't listening last save. Okay, yeah. Shoot the balloons for good. I do need the ammo. Also, they added like a wall climb sort of to this game. It's not much, but like if you should be able to like pull yourself up with reasonable like upper body strength, you can do it. Now, I don't have that IRL, so it seems like a lot. Okay, good shot.
I wish you could fall a little bit farther without it, like, breaking your legs. You can hear it. Hold up. Just take a little pictures when it's pretty. But you can hear the... Of, like, the ground quickly coming towards you. That's the sound of, like, you're going to take damage if you fall too, too far. Listen. You hear it there for, like, half a second? Uh, would I ever play Portal 2 with Vinny? I feel like the time to play Portal 2 is come and gone. Uh, as far as streaming it. But, sure, if you wanted... Okay. I don't think a single one of those actually landed. I'm upset. In a room with no threats, I managed to find a way to kill myself. Wonderful. Any chance of getting revved back? Um, if revved came back, first off, I feel like that would be once we get more emotes. I think we're at, we need 450, if I recall correctly, uh, to be able to do it. What if the real threat was the, the damage we did to ourselves along the way? <laughs> Worth it for the joke. Okay, now it's not, because I can't find my bullets. Where the fuck did they go? Where did I drop? How did I? God damn it. Okay, not worth it anymore. Just a kill. Thank you for the 32 months of support. Eating chocolatey bars, I'm gonna die tomorrow. How are you? I'm doing great. Hopefully that helps you. Look behind you. You, you hear that? Even like just falling a slight amount is enough to make it like... It's just ridiculous. Like, soaring like a swooping hawk or something. But I don't have wings, so I just sort of, like, fall violently to my death. Where is it? There it is. What is that? Anon. Holy shit. Someone got their check. How many was that? Ten? Thank you. Does this work? Wait a minute. I have no ammo. Why am I trying this? God damn it. Alright, so one thing that makes this game really hard is if you're stupid. It's normally American it Tax Day, but it got extended to July 15th. ...to whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This oh, I hate how I lost that run. Decision making and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the present, one can escape this feedback loop. Where are you? What time and year is it? Who are Texas. You? What are you doing? Seven o two. At this exact Ooh. moment. What Ooh. do you see? <laughs> do you GUN! <sighs> That's what I see. Okay. Alright, great. 
Yeah, no, I think I'll be saving my stimulus check um, once I get it, which is going to be forever from now. Because I filed my taxes late because my taxes are a bitch and I need to get stuff from so-and-so and whoever. Um, it's, um... Wasn't so nowhere supposed to happen today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Uh, today's Wednesday. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow is the 16th and, uh, Thursday. Um, I finished up the last little pieces of Town of Nowhere this morning. And I haven't been this nervous for a Town of Nowhere stream since stream one. Like, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, there's a lot of hype, which means that I feel like it has a lot to live up to. I think it will be. I still haven't benched the old ones. There's still stuff that people have missed in the old ones, so it's worth watching all the same. Poor guy. Trying his best, trying to kill me. Uh, what is your favorite, uh, Town of Nowhere headcanon that you've seen? That's not spoilers. Um, Drated on Tumblr said that their headcanon was that, um, No has that, that weird gene that makes cilantro taste like soap. And still insists on putting cilantro on everything. That, I think, is one of my favorite Town of Nowhere headcanons. It doesn't taste like soap. Nope. It uh, it tastes like other things to some people. Parsley and cilantro doesn't taste like parsley, but like, you know, kind of like that. Uh, is what, yeah, coriander is, I believe, the same thing. Uh, you can get the seeds and they'll call them coriander seeds or whatever. Oop. Do I have the safety on? No. Um. Oh, look at this shit show. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that just because fuck that. Really now? No, you're good. What was that? Sometimes the guns jam, or just do weird shit. Um, it's... It seems like all of the ways the gun can fuck up are relative to mishandling a gun. Uh, specifically, you can, um... If your gun isn't held tightly enough, that causes problems. So, um, what I found is the more time you spend aiming at long distant targets in this game, um, can't you drop the XX mags? Yeah, you can, but it's a free extra magazine.
You can only carry so many bullets. Yeah. Another thing I like to do is if I need to, like, load a bullet into the chamber and I don't want to... What the fuck? No, you're good. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, we're good. Just meander on behind it. What is your opinion on Mr. Brightside? One of the better pop songs? Not a huge fan of it myself, but I understand why it's a thing. Like, 100%. Um, While it's tempting to imagine that the cult 1911 emerged fully formed from Browning's head like the goddess Athena, in <laughs> fact, it took what? more than a decade of iteration. The first mass produced model, the cult 1900, looks I like think a I've been given somewhere in the district of like 25 gift subs today, so it thank you guys, especially Anon uh, and maliciousness. System. You could push the rear sights down to block the firing pin. And even so, the combination of the bolt and barrel shroud into a single slide was brilliant. And then, morning as fuck, thank you for the gift for sub. All modern pistols. It was designed to compete with the German Mauser C96 broom handle, uh, now better known as Han Solo's blaster in Star Wars, and the what? unfortunately named Manlicker 1896. Even in its early stage, the Colt 1900 compared well enough to its rivals that the U.S. Army started distributing it to officers and, and cavalry for field trials. Y'all are being my stimulus check right now. You guys know I'm going to get one eventually, right? Like, wait, who's freaking out over here? There it is. The world of the mind stretches far to the horizon. Okay. In this space, it's tempting to dwell in the, the man liquor. explore possible futures. Attention flits from one distant idea to the next, visiting 100 unlikely scenarios, spreading... Star Wars is canon reality, B. Yes, this is the unfocused mind. In contrast, sharp focus is always concentrated on the present Right moment. there. What action do you have to take right now? Each new moment necessitating the next thought. Anything for action. Rev's birthday. In a career. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, calm down with that. It's not this guy. This guy's dismantled. There's another one down there. I think that bullet actually landed. Yeah, that second shot hit it. Happy birthday, Rev. Thank you. It's not It's not my birthday, but you damn well know that. Old school memes for old school streams. Thank you. It's not actually my birthday, no. Jesus Christ. Wait, where is it? It's common knowledge that some needs are a higher priority than others. People note that in order to pursue some, others must be fulfilled first. Maslow's hierarchy of needs, needs the tape. A, a simple, unrealistic examples, like how you can't be happy if you don't have air to breathe. <laughs> um, these simplifications are used to hide more complex truths, that the body sustains the mind, and the mind sustains the body. The most present oh, good. are in the domain of the mind. Good time without for the gun to jam. Function of thought, you can find yourself without the will to move or eat. Strengthening the mind by developing focus and resilience is the goal of a technique we call mind tech. This is my last will and testament. Nope. I leave my car to Claire. Nope. It has the service light on, but it runs okay. Nope. I hope it helps you more than I ever did. Whatever's uh, left in my bank account can go to my dad. He can decide what to do with it. Um, 
to whoever finds this. Uh, just Empty the chamber. Put my body in the trash. Yeah, we're That's good. Where I belong. The chamber when was fine. Explorers die of dehydration. Their water bottles are usually not empty. They were saving their resources for later when it got really bad. When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually turns out that they never ask their family or, or friends for help. They were saving that for later when it got really bad. If you are under attack by the threat, ask for help now. There is no later. I mean, that's actually pretty good advice. Could you do this whole thing without firing a shot? I think it would be difficult to do, but possibly. The threat definitely uses mental illness. I, see, I don't know. Like, I don't know if the developers actually believe this stuff. But it, like, borders on actual religion at times. It's really bizarre. Also, I've noticed all these red floppies are on really difficult to find spots. There's one down there. I don't think you can see me here. Guess we'll know in half a second. Okay. Where are you? Did I get you? I got you, I think. Okay, I think we're good. I, I feel like I'm close to, like, being able to, like, beat past where I've gotten before. So I'd like to do that in the very least. If you quit, you go back down one. So, um, thank you, Bubbly, for the 29 months of support. I was going to cut this at the halfway mark and just do, like, one hour or both. But, I mean, like, fucking, we're doing good. We're doing good. One more, as they say. interesting that they've added this whole like um suicide depression thing to the uh the game before it was more or less just about like making sure that you don't fall susceptible to like the mind kill um But uh, it's interesting to, to have that added angle. I don't feel like it's undeserving either. I feel like um, it's it's done tactfully. Like this is this is a the plot of this is that there are there's an entity that is called the threat that is trying to kill off anyone who's capable of taking it down, and it does so by any means possible, including but not limited to. Uh, Robots and suicide. Um, I like the city theme of the game. I just walked past the tape. I did, didn't I? I forgot about the whole song thing. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of okay, distraction. Okay, everyone breathe. Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? I did great. If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job.
If it doesn't spin, I'll, uh... I'll go after it. But if it's a spinning one, and it's in a room like that, I just don't even bother trying... Um, trying to get around behind it. It's too much of a threat. Oh, hello there. That guy also might be in a, a weird situation. Yeah, they're being paid to help you. If you ever need to use one of those hotlines, like, um, one of my first psychology teachers, like, her job was literally to, like, man those phone lines. So, like, if you have something that, like, even if you're just not feeling good, like, even if you're feeling, like, I don't know, 80 to 70% not good, like, not even, like, 100% definitely not good gonna like make it through the day bad um like even if you're like kind of borderline just their job is literally to talk to you so do not do not treat it as a like together i shouldn't call i'm gonna bug them you, you won't bug them that's what they're being paid to do the otherwise they're sitting around waiting for someone to call them we have sent the message can you hear it <laughs> there is an insidious force moving through your media Weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. Oh. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you. Perfectly good door right there. Yeah, but what if it's not safe? I know there's a drone up there, and I know there's a bot over there. Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't know where the one in there is, but it's definitely in there. Where is it at? Yeah, it, I think that one waited until I walked in the room to turn on. Yeah, that one was a secret, like a secret one. That door was, see, this is why I break windows. You guys are like, ah, you're being dumb, Rev. Nope. Oh, fuck. God damn it. What is this window made out of? Mm. Okay, so there's... Okay, that's one down, and then... That's another one down. Try using your head. I tried that, it didn't work. Okay, now I've got some run-up speed and I don't have to worry about that shooting me or the other thing doing it. Ah, okay. There! You happy, game? Really? I hear one to my right. There's another one directly in front of me somewhere. Nope. Refuses to use the door because there's a robot trying to shoot me in there. Okay, whoop. <laughs> Not move real quick. Where is it? Okay, there's one right there.
There's one in there, and there's one over there. Can I? Thank you. While Colt won most of the U.S. military contracts, the Smith and Wesson Model 10 remained the weapon Captain of choice Captain French Toast. Oh, hey, morning as fuck. Thank you for the gift sub. I just saw half of that. Nine pistols. The Model 10 did win a few U.S. military contracts, including the Air Force, Coast Guard, and Navy. In World War II, air crews used the Model 10 revolver both for self-defense and for uh, emergency signaling with tracer rounds. In the 20s, police were facing significant resistance by prohibition gangsters and found that the 38 long Okay. So here's what happened. Glass, when shot, fractures super fast. With my face directly next to the glass, shattering at the speed of a bullet hitting my face, was probably not good for me, hence why I died. Flambatus, thank you for the five gift subs. What's 15? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's hexadecimal for F. Um, it's become a meme since uh, 999 because hexadecimal is important to that game. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we uh, switch games now. They actually factored in ballistic gas or glass. Yeah. Great. You know what? This is just a great run already. You know what? We're just going to do this. We're just going. No, we're going now. We're going now. I got this, guys. I got this. This is going to be a great run. I feel it. I feel it in my goddamn bones. This is going to be a great run right here. Right here. Let's go. No breaks. No stopping. No turning. Just running. Running constantly. See a guy? Shoot him or keep running. No choices. know what happens all right yeah so um since it can't get any worse we'll just call it there it's so it's it's just like one more run just one little little run there's a little run just a little bit a little bit more run and you're just like oh man i can do this your character is weaker than an unvaccinated one-year-old i ran Shooting my gun wildly. I think that's what I I had a problem with there. <sighs> anyway, I think we should take a quick uh, break and then we'll come back with my summer car. Cut the VOD and, and then come back with my summer car, actually. Um, it's basically gun caught of the game. I, I love uh, receiver, um, receiver two is just objectively better than the first one. And it's, it's literally just because they had the time and the ability to make a better game. My summer car, if you are not aware, is one of the first games that I got known for, I think, um, it's a good game. It's, um, it, I feel like it, you know how you get those games every now and then that are like, um, YouTuber games, like there's really no substance to them, but like, it just, you play them for a bit and you move on. My summer car is like, what if that just kept happening? Um, but I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to do a two-minute break, and we'll come back, and we'll, like, 
we're going to have a good time. I love this game. It is Gremlin Simulator. It's so good. All right. Two minutes. BRB. You don't know what you're in for if you haven't seen this shit before. It's great. BRB. I'm back. Hey, hey, hi, hi guys. Welcome back. You guys didn't have desktop volume for that? Why did you get- Oh, I muted the wrong volume. I muted the desktop and not me. So that's, that's cool, because I had this playing the whole time, but then I'm just like, do, 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 do. Fucking love my summer car. Anyway. It got an update on experimental. I'm high right now. Grads, Raman. Um, enjoy it. We're gonna, um... So I'm gonna cut the VOD. So how this works is I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm gonna restart it. And that way, uh, people who just wanna watch Receiver can watch Receiver. Um, uh, and people who just wanna watch My Summer Car can watch My Summer Car. I'm gonna just let me know when you hear this. Do the thing in chat, and then I'm going to stop stream, and I will be right back as soon as I can. Let me know. <laughs> 